Valencia. So not only do I want to share with you all the good things about skincare and taking care of your skin, I also want to share with you the not so good things about it. When something goes wrong and your skin lets you know it is not happy. So right now, my skin is not happy. I, I don't want to say just recently, but it's been a couple months now that I first introduced retinol into my regimen. I knew to ease myself into it. I didn't go right into using it in every single night. I started off with just one day a week. And when I saw that my skin could tolerate it, I bumped it up to maybe two nights a week. And I finally got up to about three nights a week with uh, the irritation that began with the first night, it, it kind of lessened. My, my skin uh, sort of adjusted to it. So I figured that I would be able to use any retinol uh, after that. So I did know to start off with a maybe a lighter version, something that uh, a retinol that has some type of buffer in it. And so I started off with the Ordinary's Grand Active Retinol Retinoid Emulsion. So this is the first one that I used. And because of that buffer, I'm sure that's why my skin was able to tolerate it. So I heard good things about I wanted to try another one. I'm always trying new stuff. I want to try another one. And I heard amazing reviews for L'Oreal's Revitalift Pure Retinol. I thought my skin could handle it. I used it and for the most part on my face, it went well. I didn't have any type of reaction. The, the dryness that I anticipated did happen. But because I kept my skin very hydrated, it didn't, it didn't bother me. So here's where I went wrong. I started to bring it down on my neck. My neck isn't happy, guys. So I'm going to show you what happens when your moisture barrier is compromised. What happens to your skin when that happens? So... This is what has happened to my neck because like I shared, I brought my retinol down to my neck. Because what you do on your face, you want to do on your neck as well. And I know that. So, of course, I was able to use it for a little while. And, uh, and we all know what retinol does. It, it speeds up your know, cellular turnover and brings that dead skin to the surface much quicker. I don't think my neck can tolerate retinol. And no, it's not that I don't think, my neck has told me that it can't tolerate retinol because this is what has happened. Um, right now it's actually in the healing process. So uh, of course, what's gonna be left is the hyperpigmentation. But this, it, my, my neck was not happy. This, it was, it was sensitive to the touch it itched like crazy um, and even when I sweat it, it, it just, it was so irritating um, and so sensitive. So <laughs> the lesson here for me is that I, I'm, I'm not going to bring the retinol down on my neck anymore once I get this healed and cleared. So right now, this again is what the result of using retinol on my neck. I, I don't know if you guys can truly appreciate how it is. There, there it is. You can see how it is also kind of, it's papery to the touch. Um, very dry, very dry and irritated. So my, the lesson here for me is um, I can't use retinol on my neck. 
but I, I wanted to share because I want maybe this will help help one of you guys um, for someone who has introduced retinol to their skincare regimen and um, you know kind of understand that of course what you use on your face you want to use on your neck as well so my advice is to go slow give your skin time to adjust to it do patch test first um, and even sometimes when your face can tolerate a certain active or ingredient, your neck um, is is not the case. Um, so I hope this helps someone. I am on the road to recovery. <laughs> um, I don't know how long it's going to be before I can get um, this hyperpigmentation to go away and I get my my um, my neck back. But um, I do hope that this helps someone. So I am actually getting ready to wash my face for the evening. And actually what I'm going to do until I, I repair, I get my moisture barrier back healthy. I'm actually not going to even bring my cleanser down on my neck. I'm actually going to just use my cleansing balm, which has um, shea butter in it and coconut oil. I'm going to use that on my neck only. I'm not going to use my um, my cleanser that I use on my face on my neck right now because everything just irritates it. So. and washing my neck I'm gonna follow up with just a simple a simple regimen tonight I really need to replace um, the moisture that has been lost in my neck so I'm gonna make sure that I'm moisturizing really well I'm gonna do um, uh, one of my I'm actually gonna do CeraVe I'm gonna do CeraVe until I can I can get my neck well because I know it has ceramides in it that's going to help um, replace what I lost um, with using the retinol on my neck. So I am done again washing my face. These I got these little things from Amazon. These are called wrist scars. Um, if you are like me and you wash your face, I hate water to run all down my arms. So this stops the water from running down your arms. I will provide the link for these in the description. This is Mr. Sia, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.